Hello, my name is Steve from Statistics Fix, and in this video today I bought something else faulty off eBay. And I'm going to try my best to fix it. Now this is an alien attack by Tomy, which is a rather awesome looking computer game. Okay, so here's the listing. As you can see, Tomy alien attack, spares repair, switches on, buttons don't work. Now I paid £15 for this, um, which is, you know, it's not cheap, but these things do go for quite a bit of money. Item description, Tommy Alien Attack, spares repair, switches on, buttons don't work. Someone may be able to fix this. It does switch on and the sound works, but the buttons don't. It actually looks in really good condition. Uh, it looks really clean, can't see any scratches on the screen. A couple of scratches here on the back. Battery compartment's nice and clean. Four size C batteries. Okay. Okay, let's switch it on. It does come on. But nothing's happening. I can't hear any sound either. It did say there was sound, didn't it? Okay, well, there's no sound either. Um, so there's no sound and the buttons don't do anything, but the screen works. Oh, no. Okay, so let's take this apart and let's see if we can see what's going on. Two more screws in here. nice and clean inside um, I'm just gonna pop some batteries back in it now still no sound it definitely said there's sound on it Where's the speaker? Okay, well, let's take this bit off. Some like um, it's like grease, and I wouldn't have thought that would make for a very good connection, but I don't know. Oh, this is odd. It's got um, it's got four contacts there. I'm guessing they use this board for multiple ones because obviously I think this one is just up and down, and the carbon pads are just to press it like that. 
because he doesn't use the, the other two. I can't see why they wouldn't be working, but oh, there's a bit of, I don't know. The whole thing is just a little bit slimy, a little bit gritty. So I'm going to give it a clean. Uh, but while I'm in here, let's see if I can figure out where the sound comes from. I can't see a speaker anywhere. Ah, okay. It looks like the speaker is under here. So there is a speaker. So why is it not speaking? Is that the speaker? There's not much to it, is there, really? Um, can I try and turn this on in this position? If I just put these two contacts on there. Yes. Ah! So it does work. Maybe it only works when you start the game. But if the buttons don't work, how did you know the sound works when you couldn't start a game? Okay, anyway, right. Let's pop that back. Seems to be working fine. Right, I think I'm just going to give this a good clean, and we'll see if um, if the buttons work. I'm just going to pop the batteries out. This is the stuff that's on the board. It's kind of weird it's color, isn't it? Hmm. Yummy. What a lovely noise. Let's see if they're now making a good contact. Um, they're all nice and clean. Pop the batteries back in. We'll replicate the on position. That's on. It doesn't help, I don't really know what I'm doing. But that doesn't look like it started to me. No. How did I get the sound on before? Okay, so yeah, we still don't appear to have any... Well, there's no sound again. And... It doesn't appear to be wanting to start. It's quite simple, really. So we've got these two contacts, and they seem to link to this K1 
cable here. So the top of the start button goes to the second pin here. The bottom looks like it goes around to the third pin. I wonder whether these solder joints are okay. Yeah, have a closer look at them. No, they're not. So this is the other side of the solder joints. And as you can see, this one, it's definitely cracked, isn't it, there? Had they all look a bit dodgy. So I'm going to re... well, do I just reflow them? I'll add a little tiny bit more solder. And hopefully that should remedy that. While I'm here, I might as well have a closer look at the rest of the board. But there's nothing obvious. It's a bit gunky. A bit gunky at the bottom. Can't see any other um, any other broken joints. So I'll start with with those up there, reflow those, and see if that makes any difference. Okay, let's let's reflow these. So a little bit of this cheap and nasty flux nobody likes. Perfect. While well, I've got the solder nine on, I may as well do this bit as well. There we go, they all look good. Oh yeah, the start button works, up works, down works, oh yes. Excellent, happy with that. Right, let's, um, let's put it all back together, give it a good clean. And then give it a final test. Excellent. Well, happy with that. How good does that look? Right, so there it is in all its glory. Absolutely fantastic looking thing. Let's have a quick go. Thank you. 
What does that mean? Why did I die? Right, for something that's, um, you know, I think it's 1981 that this came out. This is in really good condition considering it's almost 40 years old. I'm really pleased with it. I know I've said that several times, but um, it was a quite a simple fix in the end. You know, the solder joints had, uh, had obviously dried up. You know, 40 years is a long time. Um, so just simply had to reflow them. And it was... Uh, oh. Shush. And it was um, it was all good. You know, it's, it's worked perfectly now. Giving it a good clean inside, giving it a good clean outside. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, so that's that's about it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe for more Can I Fix It videos. Thank you and take care. All done. Steve, all done. Thank you.